Let's talk about baby blues. Going through labor and taking care of a newborn can push a woman into new limits of extreme fatigue. It is common to feel exhausted, especially in the early days and weeks following childbirth. It has been estimated that roughly around 70 and 80% of women who give bad experience symptoms or mood changes such as being anxious, tearful, to mention just a few. This is known as baby blues or postpartum blues. Baby blues is not just limited with the first pregnancy. It can also occur with subsequent, subsequent pregnancies. And it should not be seen as the normal, in quotes, delivery process, but should be managed accordingly. Although the real cause of baby blues is not known, but the main predisposing factors is hormonal changes. These hormonal changes can cause the mother to be anxious, tearful, restless. She could lose her appetite. She could be irritable, lack concentration. There will be feeling of being stressed or overwhelmed. The mother can also experience physical as well as mental exhaustion and sadness. She could experience mixed emotion, some sort of roller coaster emotions. Some other likely causes or predisposing factors are lack of sleep, stress, mothers setting high expectations for themselves, or mothers placing high expectations, or I beg your pardon, people placing high expectations on mothers. Baby blues is not peculiar to mothers alone. Fathers can also experience baby blues. Thankfully, within the first two weeks after giving birth, baby blues goes away when the hormone levels um, levels out. Some of the things you could do to manage this situation include getting fresh air, that is if weather permits, change of scenery, adequate nutrition plays an important role, adequate fluid intake, especially breastfeeding mothers. You need as much support as you can get. While the father is there to support, in some cases, it may not be the same. Some cultures, it is customary to have a person come in to take care of the baby, the house, the other siblings, while the mother takes time to recover. Some mothers may not have access to such support. You must try not to be hard on yourself. Catch some sleep when the baby's asleep. This is not the time to do house chores. They could wait till later. Listen to your body. If you're not ready for visitors, politely let them know you're not ready. Except, of course, if they're there to help or to assist. Do not put unnecessary pressure on yourself and don't allow yourself to be pressured by people. Reevaluate cultural practices. Listen to music. Music has some sort of soothing and calming effects. Try and simplify your daily routine as much as possible. Access, access community support. The list is inexhaustible. All of this goes a long way in helping you settle with your newborn. Baby blues, as said earlier on, will often go away after two weeks at most. If all of your symptoms persist or some of your symptoms persist, you must speak with a healthcare professional as this could be a sign of postnatal depression. And don't forget to meditate on God's word. It brings light to every situation and it gives peace.